All right, hi everyone. Welcome to the first WordPress tutorial that we're going to do today. It is just a very basic overview of WordPress and then also how to make a post and, and very simple functions within the post. Uh, basically what you see here is that I've logged into the dashboard. I've gone to WordPress.com and logged in. And this is where I want you to make all of your posts. And this is kind of, think of this as your home page. Um, it's the back end of your website, of your blog. And this is where you can make all of your posts and do all kinds of other things, which we'll talk about later as well. So go ahead, and it's very simple to make a new post for your blog. Hopefully you've already done this, but go ahead and create a new post. If this was a blog all about innovative Halloween costume ideas. And so um, this year I'd like to be a chicken for Halloween and this post will show you all about how to make your own costume so if this was your post and you were basically talking about uh, kind of a step-by-step -step on how to do that, I'm just going to kind of post that and make it bold, make it italic, um, especially for web writing. It's important to make your content scannable. Feel free to use bulleted lists. That is something that's pretty common in web writing. You really want to make it scannable. Again, easy for your reader to, to run down the list. And so. What I want you to make sure that you do within each of your posts is that you add an image and a link. And so very easy to add, a, add an image. I'm gonna put my cursor up at the very beginning of my post and I'm gonna click add media. Now it's gonna let me go ahead and add this picture of a chicken costume. And you see I've added a title and a caption and then some alt information that will help you with search engine results. And so then down here you can give it an alignment, align left. That means the photo will align to the left and, and the text will come up to the right of the image. Then you could also link to this image if you want to. I usually just do none. That way my image is just an image and it's not really a link to anything. And then I'm going to just make it a medium size. Go ahead and insert into post and then you'll see it. There it is. Um, so this is my idea. I got inspired by my grandfather. This is really not him at all. Now, um, you can also save, save this as a draft if you want to come back to it later. Um, some other options within this, adding a new post, you can um, save it as obviously a draft and you can also change the visibility. Some pages you may want to just make private and you can make them password protected if you want to. Um, you could also publish this immediately or you could schedule it to be published or you could retroactively publish it But anyway, that's some options for you to publish the other thing you can do is publicize it And you can connect your Facebook or Twitter or Google Plus or all these social networks to this post So that whenever you're ready to publish it, it will automatically push it to those social media outlets uh, Other things you could do is you could tag it with different tags very easy to um, add them and really all it is going to do is going to allow the user to find other articles that you may have written that also had to do with maybe Halloween or DIY or something like that. I'm going to go ahead and publish this. It's going to be right away. And one thing I like to do is to have a little window open so any change I make I can see what happened right away. So there it is. There's my post with its left aligned and this is not a link. It's also got a little caption there and so that's very basically how to make a post. I want, I want you to make sure that you have links in every one of your posts. Links do not pop up unless you select the word, now the link pops up and I can link to, obviously I probably wouldn't want to link to Texas State for that word, but I can go ahead and do that, open a new window, click add link, and now um, this post has a picture, it's got a link, it's got content, it's even got a um, bulleted list and even if you click over in the text view you'll see some HTML here and so you can feel free to now that you know a little bit of HTML you can go in there and code um, just a easy little tutorial here on WordPress and so uh, check out the next one for the other requirements for this blog.